Oh shit, so I'm like hallucinating. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and this is Metro Last Light Redux on PS4. You can see it's right here, Redux, where you get Metro 2033 and Last Light in the same package, same purchase in the same game, same disc. Crazy! So um, I've just finished playing Metro 2033. Uh, cutscene, go away. Skip, sorry about that guys. Um, yeah, I've just finished playing 2033. So this game continues the story. I've read up a little bit about it. You play as Artyom still, the same character in the first game, and you continue the story. So, without that bit any more being said, we're gonna jump straight in. Of course, I'm gonna jump into Spartan, I mean Survival. Survival's the hardest one, right? Yeah, Survival Ranger Hardcore, which is the hardest difficulty available in the game. And um, Ranger Hardcore adds extra difficulty by completely removing the HUD, the UI, uh, you can read there and all hints and completely disabled for the most immersive metro experience ever and the difficulty level is, level is increased in every department so that means like the enemies deal more damage to you there's less supplies to be found so that's just the way I like to play games guys if you can't handle it get out of here so let's jump in this we're gonna overwrite some data because I accidentally started the game before I started recording so let's jump into this turn the brightness up a little tiny bit I guess yeah, because I want you guys to be able to see it, because on YouTube, things do look a bit darker. So let's leave it there. And let's see where we continue from. Once came much later. From the garden's direction. The Dark Ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Just a... <laughs> That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. So... Dark ones are the big, tall, skinny, slender man looking guys. We didn't really encounter them in the world though in the 2033. It was all. That was all just our team's nightmares where we were experiencing those dark ones. The rest of them were just mutants, which I don't even know what they are if they're human transformed into mutants. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna jump in, see what that guy's screaming about. So, who's this? Am I playing as our team still? I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? Holy shit. Where are we? Why are we here? Shit. Shit. Yes. Am I Artyom? Shit. Get up, man. What's going on here? Oh god, dark ones. So I hope the ball. Oh god! Are we shooting? Oh my! Shoot them! Shoot them! They're in my face. Um. Oh shit! People are dying. Oh shit! What the hell? Did he turn into a monster? Whoa! 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 Oh shit! So I'm like hallucinating. So was there no no monsters there? And I just thought they were, and I killed all my friends. I guess this is like, put this part of the game is pushed forward. I mean, it's like flash forward. This will probably happen later on in the game. That's kind of what happened in 2033. You played the first section. Was Artyom, wake up, Artyom. in the future. Nightmares, eh? No wonder. Oh, just nightmares. Oh, it's Khan. I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller, but we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan! I told you to get out! 
This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe. So this is my bedroom. So if you're wondering, guys, those two characters right there, if you're new to Metro, they were in the previous game, so they are friends of Artyom. And we have had a lot of, lot of experience with these guys before. They've got quite um, individual personalities. Can we go inside here? No. Okay, so as you can see, guys, there's no HUD at all, because it's Ranger Hardcore. Can't even, it doesn't even tell me if I can access something, like a button. It just, if I press square and it works, it works. You know, if it doesn't, then you have to figure out what to do for yourself. The only thing we do have to help us in terms of UI is if you put touch the touchpad like this, you see the bottom right right there? There's a green arrow pointing in the direction of where my objective is. So that's it. Who's this guy? Hey! Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? Yes. You must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You don't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation's still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Oh, sorry. I need to pick this up. <laughs> now, med kids. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your stylish. advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smart move. Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. So that uh, just said I can use those bullets as currency or ammo in the Net Metro 2033. You could only use them as currency, as far as I know. So it looks like they've added them to maybe used, possibly, as extra damage if you are that desperate for ammo. Okay, so is this the weapons? Yeah, I think these are the weapons, right? Oh, shit, okay. A little menu. So we have got a primary and a secondary, I guess. We're going to choose for each one. What have we got? These, there's a lot of weapons there. A valve, that's like a rifle. A Kalash, which is like an AK almost. It's like a light machine gun. Got a few more bullets than the previous one. So, yep, yeah, bastard. <laughs> Abzatz, Shambler, shotgun. I'm gonna go for a shotgun, just because they're really good for close quarters. And we'll customize this. I guess it's free. There's no cost price anywhere. So our first weapons are free, which is pretty cool. So we can get a shotgun silencer or extend barrel. There's no point having a silencer in my mind on a shotgun, so we're gonna extend the barrel. So that's that weapon upgraded. Jump on this one. Oh, I'm gonna go for a longer range weapon. Assault rifle or light machine gun. I'm gonna go for the assault rifle just for the precision. Customize this. Red dot side. There we go. Put a silencer on it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I guess it, I like it. It feels okay in my hands. <laughs> Okay, so we, we're heading this way. The pixelation's a bit poor in the bottom right there. Uh, textures. Uh, we can see uh, Khan's headband right there. So before we go in here, I want to say something about Khan. Khan is a weird guy. He's very spiritual and he believes in ghosts and crazy anomalies. Well, well they're real, but he believes in a lot of weird stuff, guys. Just paranormal activity. Open the gates! An omen right here. He's known as a comedian. He tells jokes in the worst timing. The what the hell did he do? So I think um, All right, let's go. he's going to take us to go see Miller, I believe. That's what he said earlier on. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out. 
The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? Hey, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have one. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they based the order dreamed of finding. Guys just came back from the ring. These guys are talking a lot. That's why I'm so quiet, guys. In case you're wondering. Just want to let these guys talk so you can hear them. Hey, anyone know what the buzz is about? Why the summons? Kerman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. Okay. The graphics look a bit better in last light compared to 2033. You can tell that the, the faces... Of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm? But we're trying to communicate. Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter. The best of the order is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. Okay, so he's telling us now that we win the last game, guys. Spoiler warning right here. At the end of it, we killed all the Dark Ones with a nuclear missile explosion. And he's saying that was a bad idea now? What are you talking? Talking out your ass, come on. Alright. Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. Now on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, well, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor, huh? Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood?
We yes. Now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent. He's not talking to me anymore. I think dark ones are different to mutants. The dark ones are the tall ones, like I said earlier. So I don't think they fight alongside the mutants. I'm not sure. Right, so this is Anna. She's our sniper friend now. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the dark ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Okay. Come on, rabbit. Would you let those things into the metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Why is she calling me rabbit? With them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Leave them away from the edge of the platform. Here we go. We get on this train. The automated trains. I don't really like the look of the scale of Eddie. Oh fuck you, call me rabbit! Who are you? Anna Banana? Who do you think you think you are? We've worn this place out. Let's move. Do do do. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno. Yet Khan did find a dark one there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it. To finish what I started. A year ago it said there. So this is a year, a year later from the, set, the first game. I didn't realize it was that long ago. I thought it was like maybe a couple of weeks. <laughs> so it seems like we're in a pretty good position here. I'm just going to go and find this last dark one and take it out and I think guys that's really all we've got time for for this video the intro to Metro Last Light because it's the end of the chapter as well the introduction tutorial bit of everything to introduce you to the game so we're going to end it there and we're going to jump straight into the next video where we're going to be accompanied by Anna and we're going to try and take out the last dark one which I guess won't go as planned so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye